Veterans advocates and a murder victim's family are raising an outcry over mental health treatment for a convicted killer. Veterans Affairs is paying for the treatment even though the man has never been in the military. Christopher Garnier from Halifax is serving a life sentence for killing off-duty police officer Catherine Campbell back in 2015. At trial, an expert for his defense testified Garnier developed post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of the murder. Now let's go to Brett Ruskin who's in Halifax for us this morning with more on a decision that has many people upset this morning morning. Explain this because it's a bit confusing. Why is Veterans Affairs paying for Garnier's treatment when he never served? Yeah, we have to be very clear about this, Heather. Garnier never served in the military or for any police force, anything like that. But Veterans Affairs says that it is paying for his post-traumatic stress disorder treatment because his father served in the military. And according to Veterans Affairs, they say that they will pay for services and support for family members of veterans if in turn those services uh, then support those family members and also help out the veterans themselves. Now, a reminder as to where this PTSD originated, it came from, according to the witness who testified during this trial, that Christopher Garnier was convicted of killing off-duty police officer Catherine Campbell back in 2015. The trial found that he strangled her, put her body in a compost bin, wheeled it down a Halifax street, and dumped her body beneath a bridge. And it was Garnier's gruesome act that led to this PTSD diagnosis. Heather. And what are veterans saying about his receiving this treatment? Well, veterans are understandably upset by this. In fact, here is one veterans advocate sharing his thoughts on this case. A lot of our uh, veterans and still serving members are seeking help for PTSD and OSIs and are waiting in queue. But uh, this fella is getting, uh, I guess you would say, special treatment. Now, it should be said that Veterans Affairs tells us that 94% of applicants for assistance with post-traumatic stress disorder do receive treatment. And meanwhile, Christopher Garnier is right now behind bars, still serving a life sentence with no chance of parole for 13 and a half years. But he is planning on appealing that conviction. Heather. Brett, thank you. Brett Ruskin is in Halifax this morning.